Hi, my name is Michael Rueckert from Akasel and I'm going to show you how to use cold mounting epoxy resins. We have our resin and we have two different hardeners. The Akakure Quick, which is a quick hardening epoxy resin when subjected to temperature and we have the Akakure Slow, which takes between 8 to 24 hours to cure at room temperature. Now before we start actually using the epoxy resin, it is very important that you wear protective clothing. You should wear gloves, you should wear goggles, a lab coat, and that also should be done in a fume cabinet, but for video purposes we are doing that without today. Before we start mounting our samples, we have to prep our mounting cups. We have this Aka no stick liquid that we use to spray our mounting caps with both parts because then the epoxy resin doesn't stick in the mounting cups. I've already prepared two mounting caps so they're ready for use and I also already cleaned the samples in ethanol because they have to be cleaned to make the resin stick perfectly. Put them in the mounting cup, adjust them to the center of the cup and then I can start mixing the resin. With the epoxy resin it's very important to mix it in the correct ratio. On the label it says how much of either the hardener should be used together with the resin. In that case we're using 50 grams of the Aka resin liquid and we will be using 6 grams of the Aka Cure Slow. Towards the end when I'm getting close I'm going slower not overdose. I have now exactly 50 grams and then I use my hardener and I have to fill in 6 grams of the hardener. Again I'm very careful towards the end. Put in my 6 grams of hardener and now I can start stirring. Stirring is very very important and I have to be thorough. I have to stir for about 3 minutes. In the beginning you may be able to see that they are kind of lines showing up, flotation lines, and you have to steer until they are completely gone because then only the resin and the hardener are mixed thoroughly. While you are mixing you can change the rotation, the direction of rotation to get a better mixing result, but you should not mix too fast because otherwise you will introduce air into the resin and these air bubbles they will stay also in the finished mount. Now I've been mixing thoroughly for three minutes and I'm ready to pour the mixture into the mounting cups. I use my mixing stick to direct the mixed resin onto the sample. That makes it easier to cover the sample correctly and it will also avoid trapping air bubbles around the sample. I'm only going to fill the mounting cups to about 5 mm from the top. That makes it easier to remove them and it will also make the preparation results better because the samples should not be too high when grinding to avoid penciling. So that's it. I put the mixed epoxy over my samples. What I do now is I put a lid on to cover the mounts because that will avoid the surfaces from being sticky. And now after 8 to 24 hours the samples will be ready for preparation. So now I'm ready to remove my mounts from the mounting cups. I check if they are cured. Yes, they are cured perfectly and no sticky surface at all. I remove the bottom of the mounting cup and I have to press the mount out downwards because the, mounting, the top of the mounting cup is slightly tapered so it can only be removed this way. And now you can see we have a small bevel down here which makes it easier for the grinding and polishing afterwards because we cannot rip our consumables. And the only reason why the samples are so easy to remove is because I used the Akano stick before. Now I have removed my samples. I will now clean the mounting cups and use the Akano stick immediately and I will put them away to dry and when I mount my next samples they are finished. 